Now, if you'd like to stick around with me and uh, I'll answer all your questions, we'll do so in the Q&A. So if you're ready, let's jump in the Q&A. If not, get out of here, enjoy football and do whatever you got to do. Thanks for stopping by. I do appreciate you stop, stopping by and chatting with me. All right, let's get into it. So, <laughs> NVOs, tax crypto software sucks. Tax crypto software does suck uh, if you use it wrong or if you've got like two or if you've done like three trades in your entire existence in crypto, you don't need tax software. I'm, I'm, here, to, I'm here to tell you. But if you've done like 100 or so and you don't like to power through a bunch of spreadsheets because you realize that time is finite and you want to actually get some stuff done, tax software is the perfect thing for you. However, you don't have to do it. You can just uh, do it in a cost-based analysis, have fun doing that stuff. I'm just not that guy. Hey, Meme is here. I'm not you. Tesla's here. Ami Piper, Jonas. Uh, hello, Russell. And views. Shinobi Analytics. Ah, Tesla just announced we haven't seen the pain yet. We will see Bitcoin go lower. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Look, I'm not Nostradamus. I'm quite very much a simpleton. So I don't really know where the prices are going. I just know that it's nice to have some some powder on the sidelines, especially for the things I want to do coming up. That's it. Uh, let's see. What did I miss? Karen says I, who was arm wrestling in that picture, that's pretty nice. I DCA on dips only. It's a pretty good idea. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> With the consequence, Fed will be able to say it worked. Maybe show. Let's see. Okay. Ah, old bear. Quick Voyager rundown, Rob. What's the benefit of opting in? I'm not for sure on this one. I am opting in for everything to liquidate that S show as soon as possible to get funds back. And it's not like I, I mean, I'm going to opt in for for this uh, as it gets bought out by Binance. I will opt in for that and go from there. But um, uh, DJ Crypto did a pretty good video, and he's up to date on those things. So I would definitely watch his channel, DJ Crypto. And uh, he'll tell you everything you need to know about that. And also, I think Aaron Bennett also does it, and also with Celsius. But yeah, for opting in, I'm going for it. I think before when the FTX deal was, was about to go through, I think we would have seen like 60 or 70%. Of our portfolio return, yay! And now with Binance, it's like fifty to sixty percent. Hey, not bad. Yeah, Shinobi says, Rob, you're forgetting Powell has four more rate hikes coming. That's if he does it. Let's not be too bearish. I mean, on this channel, I'm kind of bearish, but I like to be an optimist at some point. They could pause. Look, I find it very interesting that Jamie Dimon came out in Davos and said, you know. I think it wouldn't be a bad idea if we just paused some of these rate hikes just to see what happens. That'd be interesting to see if, if Jerome Powell is like, okay, I got my marching orders. Let me write that down. All right. So we'll see. Uh, the alley is a good question. Rob, why do you edit Q&A out of your videos? So I do it for a couple reasons. Um, first of all, it's because for the YouTube algorithm, not a lot of people watch hour-long videos. They just don't. When they see an hour long, they're like, I'm out of here. That's why you've noticed that I've gone back to doing videos that are like 10 minutes, 12 minutes and kind of condense the information so people can get the information and get out because people are busy. So when they see an hour, they don't want to do it. And then uh, the other reason is because when you split them up, it makes it easier for people so they can say, okay, I just want to deal with the news that Rob is talking about, even though we do timestamps, I mean a little later. So I, I don't care about the Q&A, even if there is a QA, and a I see an hour. So you just have like the news, which is like, you know, 13, 14 minutes. And then the Q&A is like 45 minutes. And then they can choose to pick what they want to do. So that's why I edit it. I, I don't edit it out. I cut it in the program. I have my editor reformat it and then re-upload. So. Yeah, Aristotle. Oh, the sweat coin thing. Yeah, so let's take a look at that, shall we? All right. So. If you guys don't know, there's a Sweatcoin app, which again, yes, I'm super biased. And I talk about it because I own it. That's not, no surprise here. If you look in the, there's a link in the description. 
Sweatcoin Challenge. And all it is, it's you download the app. The app is free. You earn sweat coins, and those are free. And the top 30 get prizes. And then this is how it all works out. So you download here. Again, affiliate links, shocker. Walk and win. Here's the prizes for first place and second place and third and fourth and fifth, six through 10, 11, 20, 20, 30, a lot of stuff. And then this is the uh, spreadsheet. So they only up, they only, um, I'm working with uh, the sweat economy or sweat app to update this, this spreadsheet. And they only do it once a week now. So January 16th, uh, this is what we got. So the top 30, the cutoff here is 240,000 steps. That's pretty good. So it's uh, pretty heated. We'll see who wins, but go from there. And uh, yeah, that's what's up. So it just gets updated once a week. I think it's it updated tomorrow, but that's what we have so far as of January 16th. So hope that answered the question for you. Hell Yeah. <laughs> Alex says, hey, Rob, I, I, I think you'd look good if you dyed your hair white and the beard purple. I think I tried dyeing my beard a while ago, but it just irritates the hell out of my skin, so I just let it go white. And uh, it makes me look wise-er, even though I am not. Crypto Poppy has been on any Bitcoin updates. I think he did a video on yield curves today. I have yet to check that out. Is Ledger Live the new gateway to everything blockchain? Perhaps, but I'm just going to warn you, like you can use Ledger Live. I mean, I use Ledger, right, to store everything. But uh, just so you know that if you're going to buy crypto through Ledger, you're going to use uh, a couple of different programs. And one of those is MoonPay. And I've got the other one. And it's like ridiculously priced, like 4 to 6% is the markup. And I'm like, that's the best we can do in crypto, 4 to 6% of the total transaction you guys are going to charge. It's ridiculous. So I don't even think about it. I don't even use it, period. I hate that. I mean, whatever. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Tesla. Bitcoin miners the sleeping giants. Yeah, they are. And they really do dictate a lot of the things that are going on behind the scenes. But again, talk to a friend today. His, his cost based on his break-even point for Bitcoin is 22500 which is super high. But I was listening to uh, the CEO of uh, Riot Blockchain. They were, it was sub 10,000. I want to say it was 8,700 or $8,900 was their break even point. And that was like three months ago, two or three months ago. So when you're a big mining operation, you can do those things because you've negotiated some super sweet deals as far as with uh, uh, electricity, electricity power and the grid itself. And of course, Riot, when things go, when Texas needs a big boost in electricity, they shut off and Texas pays them to shut off. So, mm -hmm. It's hard to compete with those guys. That's just how it is. Ah, Vicky, thank you, sir. Aaron Bennett Link as well. Vicky, if you could do me a favor, find DJ Crypto's link and stick it in there so people can read, uh, find out about Voyager. Yeah. And see, that's just it. Neil's got a good point. I'm with Ben and still have cash on the side. I still have a decent size holding from last cycle. Took profits, not as much as I should have. That's everybody. Don't worry. But this is the thing, like, you can't really lose as long as you stay in the game. Like, for me, people are like, well, what are you talking about, Rob? You just took profits. How dare you? I'm still here, and I'm still buying every single day. That's not the point. The point was to take profits along the way. Now, I'm still going to – I bought today. I bought yesterday. I have been buying, well, the whole year of 20 – well, 2020, end of 2021 and 2022, now 2023. So – uh, I'm here until 2025. That's probably the bull run. Maybe. Everybody's guessing. Maybe 2026, maybe 2027. I don't know. But I'll be around here for at least the next bull run. And after that, yeah, the channel might slowly ride off into the sunset. I'm just here to get everybody to the, to the promised land. That's it. Uh, let's see. I love my pet rock. <laughs> That's a that's a, a quote from Jamie Dimon who he says he says that Bitcoin is like a, is like a pet rock. I gotta tell you, I'll tip my hat to that guy. He at least is consistent. Uh, opposed to like Jim Cramer, who comes out and talks about Bitcoin's the future. And then he's like, You're a moron for holding it. I'm like, didn't you pay your entire house off with crypto? So I don't know. Kind of hypocritical, but whatever. Uh, 
Robin bull market? Could it be tomorrow? I don't know. Maybe 2025, six, seven, maybe 2024. I don't know. 2024 is a halving. That'd be very odd if it did that. But usually it kind of starts with the halving and then we kind of tick up from there. But everything's different. I think this bull run would have been more a classical case of a bull run in 2021 if it wasn't for the shenanigans that uh, FTX was doing. They did some weird stuff and they cost, I think, a lot of people a lot of money. And I think that was a big reason. I think that was a big reason why there was, it was such a wonky uh, bull run. I think we could have gone up much, much higher. But, you know, Sam had to make a bunch of money and prove everybody that he was awesome. So hope that works out for him in prison. Allegedly. <laughs> Open shorts. Retail is driving this rally. Interesting. Uh, as far as quant, I don't own quant. So, again, I don't really talk about it too much. Why? Well, just gave you like a 10 minute rundown you can watch the replay taking profits frank the tank what's the difference between tax from the u.s states and puerto rico uh, well if you're here and you sign up for act 60 yeah that's what it's called now uh you don't have to pay any capital gains taxes which is pretty great however you do have to pay a bunch of other taxes that are here the cost of living is super high it just is and then, of course, you have to give to specific charities for $10,000 plus and filing fees of 5000 There's all types of fees. Like it's crazy. So you have to take a look at that. However, um, even if I didn't have capital gains tax uh, on this one, the ones that I sold, <clears throat> if you've been watching the channel, you would have known that I talked about a lot about tax loss harvesting before December 31st, 20, before the last year stopped. I said, use tax loss harvesting, sell the crypto that was underwater, buy it right back at the same price. That's called wash trading equities. You can't do that. But in crypto, still legal for now. So I have a good, good amount of losses. So I could just offset without what, I, what I sold today. And that's just it. Like there's so many things that are going on. Like, like people will always say, well, Rob, why, you know, you should have done this and this and taxes. And it takes me so long just to kind of like, to get through all the minutia of what you have to do. So like, it just gets to be a drag sometimes. That's all. And you know, like another problem is what, like, what, like with this one, there's always going to be a thumbnail investor who's going to look at this thumbnail, not watch it whatsoever, comment like crazy. And everybody's like, well, what a moron for those. I mean, I can't help everybody. So that's that. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, where does one purchase the Bitcoin with the lowest gap? I just use Coinbase. I'm sure it's marked up, but it is what it is. Yeah, I'm in America, so I have uh, limited options. Holy smokes. I dropped 13,000 two weeks ago on my DCA, and I'm holding 30,000 for the months ahead. It's pretty good. Probably do quite well, actually. Probably will. Yeah, Rob Max says, eight or so years left until I even think of selling. You know, this is a good point. So right here, so if you're one of those people like, I'm not selling for years and years and years, I think now is the time to when you start to want to think about what are you going to do with your, your taxes, these capital gains tax that you're going to have. Are you okay with paying? I mean, even short-term capital gains tax. In America, it's roughly 20, 21% for long-term capital gains, meaning you, you held it for over a year. If you're in whatever it is, uh, Portugal or different places, Abu Dhabi, uh, UAB, then you're not going to pay anything. So the question you have to ask yourself is, is it worth it for me to do something with this? Maybe put this into a trust for later on for my kids and grandkids, maybe into a, a Roth IRA, some of it. I don't know if you want to do that or if you want to move or if you just want to say, you know what, 20% is 20%. I got 80%, 80% of a billion dollars. I'm okay. So, but it is an interesting question to think about the things now as opposed to when you make the money. Another thing you want to think about too is, is like this. I was on, um, I've had a show. Her name's Jade, real nice lady. Ben introduced me to her. We did a, a discussion and uh, we were talking about the ability to not have to worry about money, which I know some of you aren't there. Some of you are there already, but you have to think about this. Like Rob's here. Let's say that Rob puts in, I don't know, 40 bucks 
every day to something, right? And he just just dollar cost average for eight years, goes through one bull run, whatever, second bull run hits it. And now let's say Bitcoin's at half a million dollars for one and Ethereum's at 25,000 and Cardano's at, you know, I don't know, 50 bucks. He's got so much money. And now he has to, doesn't have to do anything. You really want to think right now is what do I do when money's on an object? What do I do when I don't have to go to work? What do I do when uh, my friends and family, they all have to work. I have nothing else to do. What do I do? I know like right now you're like, that's a sweet problem to have, Rob. Trust me. This is, this is laughable right now. Trust me. Once it gets to that point and you're looking for a purpose, it's not as easy as you think it is. And you got to find something as an outlet. And no, going on the beach every day and drinking Mai Tais sucks after a couple of weeks. I live in Puerto Rico. I will tell you that's exactly the truth. I mean, I'll do it every so often. Not going to lie. All right, then. Let's see. Yeah. Wash trading, like, like you described, is illegal. Yeah, wash trading for equities is illegal. So that's it. Now, as far as I am under the impression, I don't think that, that crypto, well, it could be wrong uh, in different, different parts of the world. You can't just sell off and do it. I mean, who knows? Maybe in like some parts of Australia, I have no idea. <laughs> ah, Rob, how will you live knowing you haven't sold the exact top? I don't know. It's going to be tough to sleep. It's going to be tough to sleep. Yeah, maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe the next the next evolution will just be me show, telling people the, all the things I learned about YouTube and how to make a successful YouTube channel. Or maybe I'll just do into, go into real estate, a channel about real estate. Or maybe I'll just fade off in the sunset like what I should do. <laughs> The digital wall. Why is Ben not talking about prices in denial? Nah, probably not. But who knows? It'll be a, it's gonna be an interesting NFA session on Ben's channel on Thursday. Nah, you know, if you think about it, I mean really think about it. Is anybody in the wrong here? Like, if you sold everything today because you needed it to, you know pay for a medical procedure or you want to like, you know what? I just need extra cash because I can't make it. I can't put food on the table for my family. Are you wrong? No. Let's say you take some profits a day like I did. It doesn't matter. Or you just said, I'm like, like Mac was like, I'm waiting eight years. No one's wrong for what they do. It's their choice. And of course it's their goals. Aren't your goals, right? My goals aren't your goals. Your goal may be to, buy the most expensive Lambo in, uh, you know, Iowa. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, whatever it is, yeah, you know, you just have to figure out what it is for you and move forward. Oh, yeah. Aristotle. Rob, you use chat GPT all the time. That thing is awesome. Here's a little thing I was thinking about, about uh, Bitcoin, utility, crypto, digital assets, the, the utility that it has moving forward. I guess this would be a great question right now. So my question is this, how many, I'll, I'll figure it out. How many people use chat GPT on a daily basis? No, I should just ask chat GPT. How many users? Well, it has 1 million users. I don't know if that's per day or what that is. You probably want to see what I'm looking at. Here, let's just ask ChatGPT. I use another one. I use the, the behind the scenes one called Playground. How many daily users? Oh, well, there you go. I don't know. So we do know, though, that it took five days to hit 1 million users, right? And that was three weeks ago. So let's just say, for the sake of argument, it continues on with that. Let's just say it has 1 million or 2 million users per day. How many people use Bitcoin per day? It's a good question. Let's find out.
Bitcoin transactions. What is it? Okay. Bitcoin still she's vision. That's worthless. Dash. Okay. Bitcoin cash. I'll leave XRP up there. Uh, let's see. So Bitcoin transactions per day. You're looking at 260, you know, a quarter of a million. A quarter of a million. Look at that. Huh. And let's zoom out. Let's go for a year. Now let's go three years. What the heck happened here? Oh. Bitcoin 222,000? Hmm. So, unless I'm looking at this wrong, correct me in the comments, but it's looking, it's like about a quarter of a million per day as far as Bitcoin transactions. Is that right? XRP transactions are 1 million. Wow. So if you got ChatGPT and they're doing roughly a million per day, which one has more utility? I'm not saying which one's worth more, but, uh, and which one, of course, for, for the future of a country is worth more. I'm just saying that as far as utility goes, I think AI is going to be uh, a monster, but I could be wrong. Uh, I'm 31, I'm retiring my 40s. Could happen, not for sure. See, that's just it. This is, tribesmen, I don't know if you're, it's hard to tell if somebody's joking or not. This is the thing that, that always gets me. Like they look at the, at the um, thumbnail on the title and it says, oh my God, Rob sold all his, all his crypto. I need to sell all my crypto. Or are you just curious, like did Rob sell all his crypto? Why did Rob sell all his crypto? I didn't sell all my crypto. I just took some profits. Uh, it's tough. It's tough to get the, the information out as best as possible. Aristotle, pool's looking awesome in freezing conditions. Yeah, got fixed, had a little hole in it, or a little leak, I should say. <laughs> Enter John Savior. That's why I don't succeed in investing because I want, I want to work on my purpose instead. You can do both. What is money? Where are we? Army says, Rob is serious. I will have 200K in crypto. After the next bull run, I just want to link up an EP to look at investment properties. You can. I got a guy um, that uh, can help you with that. I don't I don't show properties. I'm not an agent, but I got a guy who does um, a retail and commercial. I would recommend some commercials, some commercial property. But it's up to you. Yeah. Uh, my goal is to have a day off once a month. I remember those days. I I used to, when I worked home health. I never I didn't I never took a day off. Weekends is when I made most of my money. Rob, any advice for DeFi DGens and tax reporting? Coin Ledger, they they can they can link to those DeFi protocols, and also. All those crazy, goofy NFTs that you guys bought, which are now worthless at this point. Maybe they go up. I don't know. Uh, you can also report those if you've sold them. So it links up with everything just about. Chat GPT doesn't engine. That could be. Yes, that's it. Behind the PFP. That's right. What Jade? What is BTCB? Uh, uh, there's Bitcoin Cash and there's Bitcoin Satoshi's Vision. And that's it. Mm. <laughs> that's probably true. That's probably true. Take profits. Nate says, Rob, you don't think that they're recording every character type in to use it later? I get what you're saying. Though. Yeah, of course they are. That's just it. You know, like I, sometimes like I know people are, there's some people like really big into privacy and some people are kind of like in the middle and some people are like, I don't really care. I don't care. But uh, like in all honesty, like I use uh, Brave so I don't get the ads. 
But like when I use the app, like, like when I use Facebook, which I do rarely now, and uh, I'm perusing through it, it is nice sometimes to have some relevant ads served to you. Because like I was, I was looking for jumper cables on Amazon. They were kind of pricey. Then an ad came up for jumper cables. They were pretty cheap. I'm like, oh, this is it. And I got them. So I know like some people say, well, how dare they, they, they track me? Sometimes it works out pretty well, honestly. Yes, that's it. I know a guy. Oh, that's a good one. Norman, I transferred most of my crypto to Ledger, but kept 10% in exchange to sell. Sure. Ah, Saeed. See, this is the thing. When I was talking about utility and chat GPT, great for most people, right? But for Saeed here, you know, Bitcoin and or stable coins is probably way more important than artificial intelligence. Because why? His, his whole life savings, everything that he has, gets inflated away. So I can definitely see that. Mm. Oh, Bitcoin B on Avalanche. Okay. Uh, <laughs> someone needs to create a dog coin. She helps dogs. Right. Frank the Tank says, you're not taking profits if you're in a loss. That's true. And that's that's the beauty of it, right? That's the beauty of, that's one of the things that that, that me and Guy and Ben just don't agree on. And that's because they're, they're waiting to strike uh, with their large, enormous Scrooge McDuck pile of money that they have saved away. And uh, I'm just like, I'm just going to, I'm not that smart. I just got to, I'm going to buy a buy, dollar cost average. And then when some profits come up, 20, 30, 40% crazy times, I just take some profits. If I miss the 50, 60, 100, 200, 300%, I'm okay. I still got profits. I still think it's going to go down. But then people will say, well, Rob, aren't you worried that it won't ever come down? Not really. Because again, I buy every day. So like I just bought, I, when I sold at 21, I was buying at 21. So I bought a 21,000, 21,500, 22,000, 23,000, 24,000. No, it's not. No, sorry. 22. Actually, today I bought almost 23,000. In three years, those seeds that I planted, I'll harvest them later. And that's it. It just really comes down to, you know, how many times you want to take profits along the way. Depends on how you feel. I feel like there's a, there's a dip coming somewhere. Yeah, I got to run too. Meme says I got to run. And I will say this. Well, there's two things I want to say by, by Tesla. Where'd it go? Ah, I was listening to, um, there was, uh, it was, I think it was on USA Today or, or some news publication. They were talking to lawyers about AI and were they worried that AI was going to take their jobs. And they said, no, they go, really what it's going to be is that, you know, AI won't take the jobs of lawyers. What it will take the jobs of is the lawyers who don't use AI. He goes, we can use AI right now to make, you know, our, our workload, you know, horrendously or uh, magnificently lower. And we can get a lot more things done by using AI. The ones that don't figure it out and know how to use it, they're the ones that are going to suffer. It's the same thing with the internet. It's the same thing with anybody, any kind of technology that comes in. I don't fear AI. I've been using it. It's working out pretty well so far. So all my different titles, ChatGPT <laughs> did those. And uh, edits and things like that. I've got a program. It's an, it's an AI program. It's called, what the heck is this called? CapCut. And it does all my edits now. So, of course, my editor does it, but uh, she's available to do like 10 times more edits. So that's the good thing. And then lastly... Rich J, how do you track your cost basis? So like for this one, let me see, stop. So I track it like this. There's an easier way to do it, but I haven't found it, unfortunately. That's why I was hoping that uh, CoinLedger would do this stuff for me, but they are stubborn and don't want to do it. But uh, you can do it like this and just figure it out where it is. Sometimes I just eyeball it and go, okay, well, this is a good time, time frame. Let's see if I'm in the money or not and just add it all up. It kind of sucks, but it helps out when you're, you know, got a couple grand in the bank account, not doing anything and just sitting around there to be deployed. So that's it. 
And yeah, before we take off, I would recommend if you guys are going to take off, I want to get out of here. Whoops, wrong one. There's two videos. They're going to pop up after this. Watch the video on the DCA profits. That's the, there's a link in the description. And this one was a good one. Uh, the one with me, Guy, and Ben. Just going over the strategies and where we think things are going. It's a lot of, a lot of good information to not get too bearish and not get too bullish. It really kind of evens things out. I recommend both those after this, but that's that's it for me. I got to do a bunch of stuff. So look, that's it for today. Thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. If you like the video, thumbs up, subscribe, all that good stuff. We don't usually do live streams. We'll probably start doing these once a week just for giggles, but usually it's just the news condensed, give you the things that you need to know so you can get in and out fast and get on with your life. That's it. So thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate every one of you. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.